Hi everyone, my name's James. I'm a medical student here at Newcastle University. So I'm technically in my fifth year now, but um, I'm doing an intercalated degree this year. So this involves taking a bit of a sidestep from the medical course between your fourth and final year. And you essentially undertake a degree in an area that interests you. So for me, I'm doing uh, a master's in research in global health this year. Um, but today I'm here to talk a little bit about the elective experience at Newcastle. Um, so for those that are a little bit unsure about what the elective is, um, so most medical schools offer an elective program in their fourth or final year, um, and it's essentially the chance to have to undertake a placement in an area that interests you. So this could be in the UK, um, and many students do decide to kind of kind of select a, an area of medicine that appeals to them, a specialty, and spend some time with uh, a clinician or exploring that area or doing some kind of research alongside it. Um, but also many students also use it as an opportunity uh, to travel and experience uh, medicine in other kind of healthcare settings. The elective programme at Newcastle is eight weeks and it's in your uh, at the end of your fourth year. Um, so I decided to split my elective into two four-week blocks. Um, so the first four weeks I went to Nepal, um, so I was involved with a charity that supports the Nepal Ambulance Service, so Friends of Nepal Ambulance Service. I uh, liaised with a doctor who works here in the UK that supports the charity and chairs the charity. We then kind of flew over and landed in Kathmandu, the capital city of Nepal, and for the first sort of... Um, for the first few days we were adjusting to the environment, kind of get, taking in what, you know, a very fantastic, busy, chaotic city and seeing some of the sights. But then uh, Monday to Friday you explore kind of uh, what you can be doing for uh, the hospital you're working at or for us it was a pre-medicine, uh, pre-hospital medicine kind of placement. So we were looking at uh, uh, kind of shadowing opportunities on ambulances around Kathmandu. Um, and uh, as well as looking into their data and how many calls they were receiving and doing research and audits in that area. Um, so we got to go out on the ambulances and kind of follow a couple of patients uh, going between different hospitals or being picked up from home. And that was great to see kind of how, uh, how a charity or, or how a healthcare system can be set up in resource limited settings. And I think that's kind of inspired a lot of my interests in global health this year as I'm doing a, a project um, looking into kind of uh, communities in Tanzania as well. Nepal itself is a very beautiful country, very friendly people, fantastic food um, and we also got the opportunity to do a trek as well towards the end of, of my elective so I went up um, and explored kind of a, a valley, a Langtang Valley and got you know uh, up to something like 4,000, 5,000 metres um, and that was you know a really, you know, so the, be the views of the mountains were, were fantastic so um, I would definitely recommend Nepal as a place to visit um, both for the kind of medical side and for the uh, travel experience beyond that. So for my second elective, the second four weeks, I went to Malta. Um, so uh, the University of Malta were running uh, an elective program where you could rank different specialties and kind of observe and get involved in clinical teams. So I chose to take my uh, to take take placement in uh, anaesthetics. And this is an area I knew very little about. I think it's an area that you'll have quite limited exposure to during the early years of the course. So it was great to get the opportunity to sink my teeth into something I'd not kind of experienced much of before that point. And I had a fantastic uh, supervisor, a consultant anaesthetist at the uh, Malta Hospital, Mata Day Hospital um, in Valletta in Malta and he was he was fantastic he got me very kind of uh, involved in the team asked me lots of questions quizzed me throughout and then uh, you know where possible and within my kind of uh, competence I was able to uh, kind of get involved practically as well with procedures that were going on around me um, and felt very safe and supported to do so um, and then outside of that I think it was really quite nice that you finish kind of um, in the afternoons evenings and go uh, to the beach <laughs> uh, and Malta in July is a very very hot place, um, a very busy place as well, there's lots of students around um, on different elective experiences or studying abroad um, and we uh, often would uh, kind of get the opportunity to go travel around Malta as well as its sister island Gozo as well um, in the north um, and there's lots of history there particularly kind of around World War II um, but also a lot of prehistoric history as well so lots to see, lots to do um, and uh, you know 
I think there was something very nice about finishing a placement and then going to sit and get a bit of a tan on the beach. Both of my elective experiences were very, very different, um, but I'm very glad that I chose to undertake two different areas, experience kind of resource limited settings and pre-hospital medicine, as well as looking at um, something that I'll very much be exposed to as a doctor in terms of the anaesthetic side um, uh, in, a, in a hospital that's quite similar to the NHS, so it's kind of getting a bit more exposure to an area I've not seen much of yet. Um, but yeah, I guess that's kind of it for my elective experience, but I know I've spoken to many students who went kind of all over the world and had uh, a really, really wonderful time. So kind of keep an eye out um, for, for students and talking about their experiences. And, and when you come to Newcastle, um, you know, you can start planning and getting excited for that part of the programme.